Hey everyone, welcome to another video regarding MRCS exam. The question a 73 years old lady suffers a fracture at surgical neck of the humerus. The decision is made to operate. There are difficulties in reducing the fracture and a vessel lying posterior to the surgical neck is injured. Which of the following is the vessel? Is this vessel most likely to be? So first of all, read after reading. Uh, now we have to find out the key points or main points here. Here we can see fracture occurs at the surgical neck of the humerus. Then uh, it will have to be operated and difficult to reducing and a vessel lying posterior to the surgical neck is injured we have to find out the vessel so first of all we have to identify the surgical neck of the humerus then we will have to find the vessel which lies at the surgical neck of the humerus so here the options the options are axillary artery brachial artery thoracoacromial artery transverse scapular artery and posterior circumflex humeral artery now let's see the surgical neck in this picture we can see this is the upper end of the humerus in here here is the humeral head then we can see this point this tracing this is the anatomical neck here we can see laser tuberosity and greater tuberosity and here we can see a surgical neck here and humeral shaft so we have to find out the vessel which lies at this line at this line and here in this picture we can see this is the humeral head here is the laser and greater tuberosity and this is the surgical neck level if you see here there is the surgical neck level and at the surgical neck level we can see a vessel and this vessel is posterior circumflex humeral artery or posterior humeral circumflex artery which arises from the axillary artery actually it is the from the third part of the axillary artery and we know that the third part of the axillary artery it gives three branches subscapular artery and anterior and posterior circumflex humeral artery and in this picture we can see here this is the scapula and it is the upper end of the humerus and we can see this is the surgical neck and at this surgical neck there is a nerve and this nerve is axillary nerve so with the blood vessel there is also a nerve this nerve is the axillary nerve and this axillary nerve it lies at the surgical neck of the humerus in the second picture we can see this is the surgical neck of the humerus and at this position we can see a nerve this nerve is the axillary nerve and a vessel which lies just be below the nerve and this nerve uh, this artery is the posterior circumflex humeral artery it is the posterior circumflex humeral artery and in this picture it is also very very clear because here is the surgical neck and at the surgical neck here we can see the posterior circumflex humeral artery it lies so the vessel at the surgical neck it is the posterior circumflex humeral artery uh, so our final answer is the posterior circumflex humeral artery and this posterior circumflex humeral artery it lies posterior to the surgical neck and it may be damaged or injured during fracture of the surgical neck or during the operating procedure or to reduce the surgical neck thank you all